Man Performance USA. The greatest entertainers in America, as requested by you, the men and women in the United States Armed Forces throughout the world. The Man Performance, presented this week and every week till you're home from the hospitals and back from over there. <laughs> Hi, gang. This is Terry O'Sullivan ushering in another command performance. Yes, sir. 30 full minutes of the top tunes and talent ordered in those letters, care of Armed Forces Radio, Los Angeles, USA. And filling your orders tonight is a great Iowa American. He may be from Iowa, but he loves to visit about any part of the great 48. It's that man about baton, Meredith Wilson. Thank you, thank you, Terry, and good evening all. Uh, thanks to Corporal Bob Lesterson for asking me in, and I'll repay the Corporal right now by telling a great story. Now, Corporal, you know why a man always stands with his back to the fireplace? Hmm? Well, it seems that years uh, ago... Meredith, in Meredith. In the uh, arc, uh, I was... Meredith, hmm? I don't think you better tell that story. Look, you better just introduce our glamour girl for tonight. Please, Terry. Now, the reason this fellow was standing there with his back to the fireplace... Uh, Meredith! Was because... Meredith! Huh? Now, just introduce the girl. Now, you said you'd dig up a high-toned introduction for her. Well, Terry, I went through lots of books looking for a pretty tribute to fit a pretty guest. But the one I found doesn't, uh... Well, it doesn't quite fit a girl. It's a dilly of a tribute, though. Oh, really? Well, how does it go? Like this. Science can analyze pork sausage and say how much of it is phosphorus. But science cannot analyze any man's wish for pork sausage and say how much of it is hunger, how much nervous fancy... How much a haunting love of the beautiful. The man's desire... I wanted to say the man's desire for pork sausage remains as mystical and ethereal as his desire for heaven. Well... <laughs> that doesn't fit a girl. What'd you say, Terry? That doesn't fit a girl. No, I guess it doesn't, does it? <laughs> P.F.C. Arnold Morley specified the glamour department for tonight, and it doesn't take science to analyze his desire for this babe. He sure isn't pork sausage, but come to think of it, he comes in a very slick casing, and she's very carefully stuffed. I mean this delectable, spicy Lena Romine. Hello, everybody. Now I'd like to dig right into a number for William H. Gurney in Yokohama. Myself? When a man meets a woman, he's liable to think he's human. Unless she's a kind of woman who knows her own. Now take the advice, amigo. Of one who knows Don't be fooled by how he talks Or the upside way he works Cause a man is a brother To a mule, mule, mule When a man gets contrary It is best to be wary Unless you're the kind of woman who knows her mule. Now take the advice, muchacho, of one who's wise. Disregard his gentle side, cause when you get me the side, a man is a brother to a mule. Go. You tell him to go. He says no. Cause a man is a brother to a mule. He may have a dozen men wear a sporty coat and pants, but a man is a brother to a mule, to a mule, to a stubborn old mule. Cause a man is a brother. Well, that was J. 
just mighty fine, Lena. That's what it was. Mm, well, thanks, Meredith. And I want to thank you for that sweet introduction and for all your trouble looking for it. Gee, going through all those books and everything. Like... Oh, it was worth all the trouble, Lena. I learned so many interesting things. Now, when I go out with a girl, I'll never be at a loss as to what I should say. Really, Meredith? Well, darling, suppose you and I are alone together in Griffith Park. Just, just us, huh? And then a beautiful moon. You're a man. I'm a woman. Yeah. <laughs> Your arms are around me. I purse my lips. Now, what do you say? Lena. Yes, Meredith. Did you know that the largest toy drum factory in the world is located in Massachusetts? <laughs> Isn't that kind of interesting? Hmm? Lena? Well, frankly, Meredith, I think we'd better give our listeners some dialogue with a lighter touch. Well, that's okay with me. I'll tell them my joke, if you'll help me. All you have to do is to ask me, why does a man always stand with his back to the fireplace? Okay, Meredith. Why does a man stand with his back to the fireplace? Oh, boy, I finally get to tell it. You see, Lena, years ago, a boy named Sam was standing... Meredith! Why, it's Meredith Wilson's talking people! tell you a story. Now, uh, how would you like me to tell you why a man always stands with his back to the fireplace? Hmm? Oh. Well, uh, possibly you'd like to hear the story about the three trees. Wait a minute, man. Well, what's the matter? You mean that old yarn about the woodland glade? Cuckoo, cuckoo. Surrounded by the three trees? There, there, and there? Well, I only thought that it might Could be... Could you possibly be referring to that old chestnut about the fish? that it may be not the and newest option. to drink at the beautiful bubbling spring. Blue, blue. <laughs> oh, is that spring again? Blue, blue. <laughs> and finally comes the hunter.
people singing people. 